Africans denied access to trains out of the country are being held at gunpoint at the border. Only Ireland covering is so far. Yeah, we're going to cover that right now. Dublin, the Irish Times, Africans trying to flee Ukraine, complain of being blocked What's and racist treatment. Where is the video? There's a video uh, of this. Watch out, they're threatening the shooters. We're currently at the Ukraine-Poland border. Their police and army refuse to let Africans cross. They only allow Ukrainians. Some have slept here for two days under the scorching cold weather, while many have gone back to Lviv. <laughs> I love that people are being like, well, the decree means 18 to 60 can't pass. First of all, that's for Ukrainian nationals. And number two, there are women in that crowd. So how do you pair that up? Are black women magically wow. considered Ukrainian men now, too? Just like uh, the African students, the African male students are now Ukrainian uh, uh, Ukrainians trying to escape. We are dead. I can't tell if this is the Poland side or the Ukrainian side that's stopping them, by the way. Uh, like, the Ukrainians that are stopping them from uh, entering into Poland. I don't know. Uh, but I don't think that's the Polish... Uh, I don't think that's a Polish guard. Because I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure, despite... What Poland's point of view has been historically about, you know, uh, immigration That's from uh, non-white countries. I do believe that they have an open border policy at this moment. Also, the other side of this is that, like, bro, Polish people historically fucking despise Ukrainians. There were there were massive battles fought. Both so, like, them opening up their fucking borders in this situation is also of historic significance, for the record. They, it, it's a big deal. <laughs> they just hate Seven Russians more. Yeah, I'm Polish and half black and bet my life they would throw me back into Ukraine in a heartbeat. I mean, listen, listen, uh, this Crazy. instance, like this time around, I don't, I, I think this is on the Ukrainian side that are stopping them. Why didn't they Almost. leave earlier when their country, when every country told them to? Dude, you're fucking, you're crazy. Are you on crack? You think fucking every country was telling them to leave early? No, they weren't. The fucking Ukrainian government was like, yo, it's not that big of a deal. It's not that big of a deal. Of course, they're not going to fucking invade. People love to come in here and be like, dude, I heard from you. And that's why I'm stuck in Ukraine now. My friend is stuck in Ukraine because he's a big fan of you. But like, no, you fucking idiot. They literally were, they weren't told to leave or evacuate for at all the only people that were like the invasion is imminent the invasion is imminent leave now that's the invasion crazy. is imminent was the american authorities the ukrainian authorities were like no nah, that's not happening why would ukraine care about black people leaving their country real question they want like the evacuations to i think it's two parts one because they want all males i want they want all males to stay within the ukrainian borders because they want to force them into conscription against the russian government and two uh, I think they want Ukrainians to take first priority because there's like, you know, especially on trains and shit, there's like a limited number of spaces. So they believe that like the African uh, people are not uh, real Ukrainians. So they just don't want fucking. That's why it's like the Ukrainian. Uh, they're prioritizing the Ukrainians, the white Ukrainians that are uh, uh, leaving, or at least according to on the ground reports. Uh, that is what they have said so far on the ground reports. Can you even force non-citizens such as students in the conscription? I don't think so. And it's really, really so sad. Like people have been crying. People fainted. It's it's really horrible. Please, please, Nigeria, please come to our aid. Christ. The community of Africans in Ukraine stranded at the border. Much of them women and children. This is happening now. The lady in the video is holding a two-month-old and it's three degrees Celsius outside. We are in search of aid in hostels. It's like 35 degrees. Don't say this is okay, please. What? Why in the ever loving fuck would I ever say this is okay? Why are people fantasizing about like the diametrically opposite take that I would take on a particular situation? When have I ever made you feel like I would ever, ever in a million fucking years uh, think that something like this is completely fine? Dude, I, I have the worst schizo posters, dude. I just like, it's gotten way, way too much. It's gotten way out of fucking hand, dude. Africans denied entry onto a train, uh, taking people from Ukraine to Poland by Ukrainian soldiers and police. Africans were forced to wait until all Ukrainians had boarded the trains before they'd be allowed to get in one. Why is Poland so racist out of curiosity? I mean, this isn't even Poland's racism for the record. This is this is Ukrainian uh, guards that are doing the fucking uh, racism. So, I mean, while Poland is, uh, you know, a lot of the actions of the Polish state could be seen as white nativist. Uh, in this one instance, I don't think they are at fault. They might be in the future. I don't know what's going to happen. Right now, they are not at fault. Still not as bad as Russians. 
dog, what, this is nothing. I mean, the only thing that the Russians have to do with this is that they are the reason why there's uh, people trying to escape the country because they're bombing it. But that's that's a ridiculous thing to bring up in this situation. This is in Ukraine, though. And by the way, it's not just men that they're not allowing. They're not allowing black women and black children on the uh, on the trains, too. So that whole, like, oh, it's just the men uh, attitude kind of falls apart, too. Need for denazification is totally fake, right? Dude, if you want to denazify a country, you don't fucking go and, and, and like, there. no, that's bullshit. Are there Nazis in the Ukrainian National Guard? Absolutely. Are there, are, like, neo-Nazis? Are there uh, a lot of nationalist uh, forces that are growing? Um, sure. Does that justify full-scale invasion and bombing fucking Kiev? No, absolutely not. It's just ridiculous. It's completely fucking ridiculous. Putin is using what all, like, liberal Sex imperialist powers have used uh, in the past to... Act like what he is doing currently is his conquest is justifiable. That's it. That's it. That's the that's the whole point. You're never going to hear me say like, oh, it's not like the Azov Battalion is not a big deal or like that nationalism is not like a, a fucking you're you're being crazy. Like you're doing Russian propaganda. Like I'm not one of those people that says shit like that. It is true. There are there are sort of Nazis or neo-Nazis rather and those affiliated with them even in the government not like a lot but certainly in the government uh despite the fact that their their party svoboda is not nationally popular at all i think they got like three percent however you know what actually fucking legitimizes nazis a massive imperial power Guns in that KF fucking uh, in your backyard coming into your country and murking your people okay so you're not denazifying Ukraine, you're nazifying Ukraine, maybe. You're making it harder for leftist Ukrainians, anarchist Ukrainians who have fought historically with the fucking Azov Battalion and, and other, like, violent hooligans who have now gained prominence as a consequence of the eight years in fucking Donbass uh, to, to gain even further prominence in, and have a strategic foothold within the Ukrainian government in the future. Wait, what is this? Saying that all of Ukraine will become a Nazi because of, of this is not a real argument. It's like in Full Metal Alchemist when everyone's blaming the Ishlavan for being violent when it's not all of them. Wait, no, dude. What the fuck? Ukraine Ishla Ishvalan? No, I'm not saying that Ukraine will become Nazi. I'm saying that historically speaking, when an imperial power, when a fucking large power encroaches on your borders and destroys your fucking country, people become more nationalist, okay? My fear... Not that it fucking matters at this time right now, is that that might happen as well, but it, we don't know, so shut the fuck up, please. Anarchists are literally fighting alongside Nazis in Ukraine, or at least they tried to. Yeah, you, you know why, dude? You know why the anarchist uh, battalions that used to fucking fight the Azov battalion are now turning in and, and joining forces with them? Because there's a larger fucking, uh, there's a larger problem at play. That's what I've been saying. This is literally I proof of what I am saying. Happening. I don't know if you're showing this as a fucking dunk or whatever, but this is exactly what I'm literally saying. This is historically exactly what happens. What do I always talk about with, re with like respect to the Middle East? People are like, oh, Middle East, they're so conservative. They're so conservative. Yeah, dumbass. Who do you think they're ISIS die, is bro. throwing off fucking buildings when they're, when they're throwing off uh, gay people off of buildings? When ISIS is throwing off gay people off buildings. Who are they throwing off? They're throwing off not gay Americans. They're throwing off other gay Muslims, dumbass. The issue is... People have no way to fucking fight back internally against reactionary forces if a country has no sovereignty from an imperial power. The argument makes no sense because there aren't Nazis in Afghanistan and that country got devastated. Dude, I'm, I'm, banning, I'm banning this fucking uh, idiotic weeb, dude. Just because you're a fucking stupid weeb who keeps saying, this is just like Full Metal Alchemist. You do not deserve to speak in this chat, you stupid fucking weeb. Holy shit. This is just like my anime. Over here, a Ukrainian, a Ukrainian security officer kicks Indian students at the border crossing who escaped the war. What is that? I don't know if this is a new video. I don't know if this is an old video. I don't know what this is from. There's not enough context there. India didn't stand with Ukraine. They took the same cold stance as China. Oh, okay. Fuck the Indian civilians then, dude. Never mind. Yeah, then then they deserve to die, I guess, uh, in in uh, the fucking Russian invasion. Got it. What kind of fucking dumb take is this? Oh, dude, the Indian government decided not to fucking... Less dude, you guys are American. It, it, with that exact same logic, justifiably, many other nations could just murder you, okay? For the crimes that our government has committed against so many other nations. Like, first of all, but every no, South American country's national has... The, the God-given right to come up to you and fucking kill your entire family then. 
Every Middle Eastern country has the God-given right to come up to you and dome you directly in the head, kill your whole fucking family, blow up your house for the actions that your government has committed time and time again throughout history and continues to commit. The fuck kind of stupid take is that, dude? How dare you? How dare you fucking uh, try to punish the, the citizens of a population? That's insane. Smile. Just think twice before you fucking get so horned up to be so violent, so openly violent. It's, it's sad. A thread from a CNN producer whose sister was held at the border for being a person of color. My sister was trapped in Ukraine. This is a thread about her incredible journey to rich Poland. During her escape, she experienced racism, injuries, freezing temperatures, and sleep deprivation. Her story is one of the hundreds of thousands of people trying to get out. My sister's adopted. She's I from mean, Sierra Leone. Her birthplace is a significant role in prolonging her exit. Events. She so was sure staying in Kiev when the war broke out. She and those Slavs she was with said. attempted to leave. Oh, Cars were standing still from Kiev to Lviv, a city in the west Ukraine to Poland's border. They managed to find a driver who said he could take them to Dnipro, a city in east in Ukraine near Russia's border. European. From there, they hoped to get on a bus and tr or train to Lviv. The driver charged them $700 for a seven-hour journey. Once they arrived in Dnipro and noticed the bus and trains weren't working, they begged the driver to take them to Lviv. He agreed for another 1500 They piled in a small sedan, eight of them, including a 13-month-old baby, you, ready for the 15-hour journey back do. west. I'm Holy shit. After reaching Lviv, the driver said he would continue on to get them to the border, but after 30 hours on the road, he said he had to go back to Kiev. My sister and her friends had to leave the car and attempt to reach the border on foot. After walking 10 hours... In freezing temperatures, they decided to leave their belongings to lighten the load. I'm trying to ask for help, but nobody's to help, and the police and picking calls either. Like, and I don't just want to throw my suitcases because I see people be throwing their suitcase, and I don't just want to throw all my stuff like that. So I don't know what to do. And we stuck it's like three hours away still with walking. When they arrived at the border, they were not let in. The lines were formed, one for white people, one the other for everyone else. Only Ukrainians were being left over. Thousands of people were forced to sleep outside in the cold fires were stated started to keep the uh people warm the next morning my sister fainted she was exhausted from all the walking and hadn't gotten proper sleep and food in days an ambulance picked her up at the border and drove her four miles back east she was given fluids and finally got some rest after leaving the hospital they got the ride back to lviv with hopes of getting a bus ticket since crossing on foot is not an option it was supposed to be a 2:30 bus trip it took 24 hours to reach the border once the bus finally made it on the border, the same border she was at two days before, someone announced that all blacks need to get off. My sister and her friends bravely refused to get off. They are actually telling blacks to leave the bus. They can only cross with the Ukrainians. They're telling blacks to leave the bus. We all pay for the bus ticket, and they told us we're going to Poland. If they knew this was going to happen, they shouldn't let us in. And now they're only telling blacks to calm down. If any of the military guy comes in here, we're going to have to put the phone on record and everything. Even the Ukrainian people, they are feeling sad. They are like, no, they shouldn't do that to us. We don't deserve it. No, this is so unfair. We haven't done nothing. If they do this, I'm going to have everything on recording and send it to you. They remember the same race treatment that thousands of others who reported at the borders, bus, train stations across the country. Foreign students fleeing Ukraine say they face segregation and racism at the border. After sitting at the border for five hours, they're finally let through, ending their four and a half day journey. My sister is lucky. She's safe in a hotel where she was able to shower and sleep in a bed. There are still thousands of people in her shoes trapped on the other side. More than half a million refugees have fled, to have fled Ukraine during the Russian invasion, according to the UN. Some Ukrainians have been claiming that all these racist claims aren't true. These motherfucking whites can't be, can't not be racist even when being comestered by other whites. Yeah, it's fucking ridiculous, dude. Love like, this doesn't take away from the fucking the brutality that uh, the Ukrainians are, are being subjected to by Russians, clearly. But my lord dude like they're still humans brother what the fuck like them being black or brown doesn't even that, that doesn't change the reality they're still humans unless you're like deeply a racist person yeah famous russian propaganda outlet cnn these motherfuckers will say everything is dude that's the other part russia is very careful and very deliberate with the propaganda they love that shit they love doing misinfo and so does america but the most annoying part about like american propaganda is that they will literally turn something that is true and say, well, Russians are saying it's happening, which means it must be fake. And it's like, well, no, it's true. Like, it's literally true. And you're still saying it's fucking propaganda. It's Russian propaganda. Motherfucker, it's still true. They're using it as a propaganda tool, but that doesn't change the reality. It's fucking true.